So today we're going to be working with Google Forms and we're going to be turning Google Forms data into a JSON file which we can work with in our JavaScript environment. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a node application to talk to the Sheets API which is then going to talk to the Google Forms data. To do this you will need the following code here which I will just quickly go over. So you will need FS, the Google APIs, all of this here, you can just paste in, you don't need to write. And then this start here, you can also just paste in. I'm just quickly going to go over it. This up here just requires in all of the dependencies of the Sheets API. So if you were working with a different API, you would type the name right here and the version. This code here works with pretty much all Google APIs that supports service accounts. Then I configure the client here and then I require a few things in from this file here, which is a file we're going to be downloading from Google later, which is essentially just going to be a file where all of our credentials is stored in. And we request the permission to the Sheets API. We get a token, we authorize the client. So this would be the specific. So we're going to be talking about that later after we have created our forms. So to create the forms, we are just going to navigate to docs.google slash forms. You don't need all this. You can just do like that. And then we are going to create a blank project. Now I'm not going to be going over how to make forums, but I'll include a video down below which shows you how to do that. The first question here is going to be, have you used Note before? And then actually auto suggest yes, no. And we'll say that it's required. But that's the only question we're going to be having and we're just going to call this um, Node.js test. And we're not going to have a description. Okay, so the next thing we want to do after creating our questions is to link this to a Google Sheets. Now to do that, you will click on responses and then you see this sheets button here and you can go over here and then you click on here and create a new sheet and press create. Now this will create a new sheet and this will then be linked. So if we just include a little bit of test data, we but before we do that, we actually want to make this public, at least in my case. So we'll go in here and we'll just say restrict users to Vincent Lab organizations. You're probably going to have something different because you don't have an organization. But I will just untick that and that means that it's just open for everybody. Now we can just click here, get the pre-fill link. And that will open this here. And if you, in another browser, open this URL here and press inner you will actually get your questions. So we can say, yes, I have. Can let's just send in another response. No, I haven't. We'll just have a little bit of test data here and we can just close this. Now let's navigate back to here. You can see that we have three responses and in our sheets here, you can see that it automatically published this. Then what we have to do is to create a service account. So if you navigate on to console.cloud.google.com, It will just automatically add this to the URL, but you will be in here. This will show if you already have a project, then we'll just show that project. But what we have to do is to create a new project. And to do that, you're just going to go up here to project and press new. And now in here, you will get a project name. Now let's call this node dash forms. I'll just locate all of it. Like I said, this could probably going to be a little bit different to you because I have an organization, but should be similar. But then after creating your project, you can see it's just creating it up here. And there you go. Here you can see that our project is here. So we can just pick that. The next thing is that we have to enable the Sheets API for this project here. So to do that, you just press this menu up here and go to services and library. And here you can just search for the Sheets API. And you can see that we will get the Sheets API here and we can just click on it here. And then you can see this enable button. So we'll just press enable. And there you go. So now this is enabled. Okay, so after adding that, we now have to navigate to our dashboard. And we do that by clicking the menu again, clicking apps, APIs and services and clicking dashboard. And then we'll go down here to credentials. So we're just going to click on right here. And you can see that there's a few different ones. We're going to be picking service account. 
we are going to be using JSON. And then just click up here. Now the service account name, I want that to be just forms. Now right under here under roles, this is really up to you. And then you can pick owner, editor, viewer, or browser. We're just going to be viewing stuff. So I'm just going to be picking viewer here. Now this is going to create the service ID here. And that's just fine in my case. And we can just press create. It will ask us to download the private key to our computer. And that private key will just go down and store in our project here. And I also just quickly call the credentials instead, just so it matches with our require statement. Now let's go back in here. And now you can see that we have this ID here. If we click on manage accounts here, you can see that we have our service account here and it is active. Okay, so let's just copy the email here. Now the reason why we want to copy the email here is that we want to share this sheets with this email here because if we don't, this service account is not going to have access to view the sheets and then we're going to be getting an error later. So back in our sheets, we just quickly want to share this one with that email address of the service account. And then we're just going to be pressing send and yes. This would just have shared that sheet with that service account because if you don't do that then the service account does not have access to the sheets and we'll get an error later now let's just navigate back to our code here the first thing we want to do down here is to go on the service spreadsheets and values and then get and then we want to pass in the authentication token here and then the id of the sheets now that's another important one the id is this id right up here that's the ID, copy that, and just paste it in. This is the range, so it goes from A to B. This will go from A to B, so we'll select both A and B, but if you wanted it to go from A to F, you would put F instead of B. You can also, if let's say you just wanted to extract a specific value, then you can actually put the numbers out here. So this here would just extract a two. And if you're doing it with the number here, it's only going to extract one because it's extracting like a very specific one. But we're just going to be sticking from a to b. This is just a quick array to store our answers in. This is the rows value. So you get that by getting rest data values. And we're just going to name that rows. And then we're going to check if it has any data. If it does, then we're going to remove the headers because we don't want the headers to be included in our answers file here. And then what we're doing is we're just pushing on all of these answers by grabbing the first thing in the row and the second one. So this would be the timestamp, but this would be the answer. And a little message if we don't have any data, then we're just simply just writing this to a file, locking if there's an error and exiting. And if we run this code here, you can see that it ran. And if we open our file here, you can see that it got our new questions here, which was yes, no, yes. So that was all you needed to work with Google Forms in your Node application. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.